Good morning, friends and neighbors. Today we are going to do some dye sublimation. I promised you a couple weeks ago. Let's take a break on DTG and let's get into some dye sub. So, tired of printing boring white or having boring white masks? It's fun to spice it up a little bit. This here is a mask I printed on the Epson 6370 dye sublimation printer. This is Denver flag, the Denver flag. I pulled the image off the internet, saved it as a PDF, resized it, saved it as a PDF, drug it into Epson Edge print, printed it on the uh, 6370 dye sublimation printer, then heat transferred it with the Hotronics heat press. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's only going to take a few seconds. You guys are going to love this stuff. So here's a little trick I want to show everybody. If you're searching for a topic, in this case I, I searched Denver flag, um, you can click on tools, size, and large. And that'll bring up all the images on the internet that are big for the, uh, for the um, like, like bigger uh, pixels, bigger size. And so it's better for printing um, because it's already big and then you can resize it if you want. I chose this waving flag just because it kind of looks cool. Um, and here it is. I just drag it onto the desktop. See how easy that is. And then if you open it in Photoshop, um, and in Photoshop, I just opened it and I resized my document uh, to uh, my canvas size to be about the size of my my um, my mask, which is seven and a half by five and a half, seven and a half wide by five and a half tall. And so I just made a rectangle seven and a half by five and a half tall, and then I'm saving it as um, a PDF. Just save it as a Photoshop PDF right here. Photoshop PDF, save it to your desktop, whatever you got to do. And then you can take it into Epson Edge Rip. And I'll show you how easy Epson Edge Rip is right now. So here's Epson Edge. It's a super easy software for uh, running your die sub. It's similar to a lot of other gra uh, graphic uh, kind of printer software, but it's real simple. I just took my image and I'm just going to drag it in here. This is my Denver image, my PDF. Um, and then under layout settings, I'm just going to run a whole row of them right across the, the width um, of my paper. Um, it's already inverse, not that there's any text in here, so you don't need to worry about the inverse. Um, but really, I don't mess with any of this other stuff. It's really that simple. Just bring it in, kind of have it the colors and the way you want it, um, and then go to print it. So I'm going to hit the print button, and let's watch it print. The Epson 6370 is really very fast printer. It's a bulk ink system, uh, which is nice. Um, we want to mix the, shake the white ink up once uh, every, you know, every couple of weeks, every week or so. Just do this about 15 times. This is a real high density black, so you get really nice rich blacks out of it. Uh, but look how fast this print thing prints. It's already almost done. I mean, this is a, this is a fast printer. Boy, that light is kind of a bummer, isn't it? But this is a super fast printer. It's going to print it, and then it's going to sheet cut it. It's already almost done. Here it is. And just like that, we have something that's ready to sublimate. So I get my – this is this is our mask. I got this mask from a company called JDS Supplies. They supply a ton of dye sublimation stuff. Um, I just ordered a bunch of them. They're really inexpensive. Uh, you can get – um, it's a really good website, tons of info or tons of product there. And I'm going to send you, uh, I'll put the link down in the description down below so you can get a, an account to JDS supplies if you don't already have one. Uh, but just show you real quickly. I just measured my ma mask seven and a half inches, uh, by five and a half inches, gave myself a little bit of leeway and made myself a rectangle of that size. I'm going to cut one out. And the way I do this, now we can't sublimate on black. I mean, we can, but it's not going to show up. So this is a really simple process. I'm just going to lay my mask down. Which way do I want the uh, the, the the circle of the um, the yellow circle here? I'm going to put that face down. I'm going to make sure that um, all my color is within the white area of the print. And if you've seen any of my dye sub videos before, you know that I'm using blue painter's tape. It's inexpensive, less expensive than the heat tape. Though heat tape works obviously really well, this stuff is a good supplement. So I'm just going to kind of tape it down, make sure that it uh, stays nice and firm. We don't want any shifting. We call that ghosting and dye sublimation when there's a little bit of image shift. It's best to just keep it, to try to keep it as secure as possible. And then I've made this mistake many times before. Uh, I'm not going to make them anymore though. 
um, we want to put the image on the top of the substrate and heat press it that way. So here we are. Here's my paper just to kind of protect protect uh, the everything, make sure we don't sublimate on anything we don't want. Um, I'm heating at 420 degrees for 25 seconds at full pressure. 25 seconds is plenty. Um, the key with dye sublimation is you want good consistent heating element and you want good consistent heat and pressure. So we want to be upwards of the 400 plus range uh, and we want to uh, make sure we have good pressure. So in this case, we have both of those things. Hotronics makes a really good heat press. Insta makes a really good heat press. Those are the two that we sell. So that was quick. I have my mask taped, you know, sublimated the side on it. And this blue painter's tape, I want to show you what's so great about this stuff, is it doesn't leave any residue. There's no residue, almost like it wasn't even there. And that's what you want when you're using tape. If you use some other brand, you could easily run into some uh, heat sort of transfer some sticky stuff left on your substrate and as you see it's really clean back there but here's the magic the front and so it's really easy to do fits perfect Ooh, that's nice and warm it's cold here in denver today this is nice so you should have mask heaters oh my gosh i think i just came up with a million dollar idea anyway that's as simple as it is to do dye sublimation we're going to do more dye sublimation this week uh, or next week in the weeks to come because I've got Christmas ornaments. We have some metal stuff. I have some tiles I just want to show you how versatile it is and how fun it is and how creative you can get with this stuff So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the uh, Digital Monday channel on um, the Melco education channel uh, Watch all our videos. If you have any questions leave comments below. Thanks for watching and we will see you After the pandemic. No, just kidding. We'll see you next week Bye, everybody